Hi, I want you to think about a change that you wanted to make. Doesn't matter how big or small that change was. You decided to tell someone about that change. Your colleague, your friend, your family member, your partner. You didn't ask for their advice, but they decided to tell you what they think that you should do. What was your immediate response? What were you thinking to yourself? Feel free to pause this video for a couple of minutes to think about it. Now, my guess is that majority of you probably felt a bit frustrated, not listened to, and maybe a little bit defensive. How we give advice will have impact on how that advice is received. I want to tell you a little bit about the writing reflex in motivational interviewing. The writing reflex is our innate desire to give advice, to tell people what to do, to make it right and provide solutions. When you hear yourself saying things like, have you thought about X, Y and Z? Or I think you should do A, B and C. Then that is your writing reflex creeping out. Now, the writing reflex comes from a good place because we want to make it easy for someone. The problem with it is that it creates defensive and resistance because people don't like being told what to do, especially when our advice is not aligned with their ideas and solutions. Now, if you are in a client facing role where your part of your role is to give advice to people, then you have a little bit of a problem because you might be providing advice without realizing that you are creating defensiveness and resistance. So in my next video, I'm going to share with you a couple of tips of how you can provide advice without creating defensiveness and resistance. Thanks for listening and I hope to see you in the next video.